everyone, and welcome back to Bose & Company. I am your host, Emily O, and we have such an exciting show for you today. I am joined by a very special guest and someone who we have wanted to have on the podcast for quite some time. So happy that it's finally happening. Welcome, Laura. Thank you for having me. Bose & Company. I love being here. Thank um, you. So if you're new here, Laura works on the Emily O & Bose team and is just a friend for yeah. so many years. Yeah. And has transitioned and help has been helping us so much, specifically the past, has it been like two months at this point? When did we start? I feel like, yeah, it is almost two months. Almost two months, um, which has flown by, but we have known you for years. In fact, before we started recording, we were just sitting over here um, drinking our coffee, which you brought, which I think at this point, my love language is when people bring me coffee. Yes, <laughs> like, I know. Right? I get so excited. <laughs> but we were talking about um, the first time that I met you, which was when I was 12 years old, which is, is crazy. 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 And we're going to get that into all that. Old. <laughs> no, it just shows how like time has flown and how long how fast it's gone yeah. absolutely um so we're gonna get into all that today and kind of talk about how we met you and what you do now on the Emily on Bose team and, and all of your backgrounds and how we've ended up here today yeah. on the podcast yes. long long road here yes but before <laughs> we do any of that we are going to do Bose and Lowe's okay fun. which you know we always try and start off with and I think you mentioned earlier you have a you already thought of your low which is fantastic um I would say, well, my bow. I'll just, start, I'll ahead. just ask myself the question. <laughs> what is yours? What is your bow? Pose it to you. <laughs> so, my bow was over the weekend. I was in Georgetown um, with my two best friends from high school, and it was a really lovely so little fun. trip. If you follow me on any other social media, I'm sure you would have already seen me posting yeah, up a storm. Adorable, so fun. But we loved it. Um, it was a really, it was quick, but I'm glad we did it, and it was overall a 10 out of 10. My low, honestly, like I. Hate to be that person, but like I don't think I have a low. That's great. <laughs> like, I mean, that's a bow in itself. It, that's a bow in itself. <laughs> right? um, we that sounds like a great week. Yeah, it's been it's been overall great. I mean, I'm sure something will pop up, but mm -hmm. positive vibes over here. So, Laura, Good. what is Good. your low Good. and what's your bow? What Maybe start with the negative start, so we can end start with high. the negative. Okay, yeah. got it. Um, my low would probably be as I was telling you and your mom. I was so excited because we were going to go to the pumpkin farm, or we did go to the pumpkin farm <laughs> on Sunday. I have three girls. Yes. Uh, a six-month-old, a three-year-old, and a five-year-old. Mm -hmm. um, so the five-year-old was, like, on board, like, loved it. I thought the three-year-old would be two. She was not having a day. We were there. It was just one thing after the next, crying. She wanted <laughs> me to hold her. It got to, we got to the corn maze. I was like, all right, this is so fun. You can yeah. like run through. Like, yeah. what, that's where like corn is grown from. She like obviously didn't care about that. Um, <laughs> six month old that needed to be fed. So I was like, I'm just gonna go to the car and maybe I'll see you again. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> and the three year old is like, I'm coming with you. And I was like, you can come with me, but you are walking. Yeah. It's a far walk to the car. You are walking with me. Otherwise, you're staying here. Right. Go in the corn maze. Right. So she was like, okay, okay, I'm coming with you. Um, walking uphill gravel pushing a stroller which is not easy to do in gravel <laughs> of course she starts a tantrum people are staring <laughs> so I was getting to the point she where I'm so attention. frustrated so I just grab her so I'm holding her who she's like 40 pounds pushing the stroller up gravel it's so windy so there's like wind in my face I I barely could see and I was just thinking like this is absolutely miserable yeah and I need to get to the car immediately and so it was just like and then we get to the car and that was a dirty diaper and then she had to be fed and then I was like let's go get a donut after yeah. all this I'm like you will love these donuts or like the sugar like warm oh, sugar donuts so like who doesn't love those I'm like let's go get one and so we go we sit down and she takes a bite and she's I don't like it <laughs> She was not having any like, issues. I was like, we just need to go home. Yeah. We need to go home. We need to go home. So that would be my low. Because I was ex but you know what? Whatever. It you know what? Like, that that is, is what low. it is. That tops the, the five year old had a good time. So okay. as long as she had fun, and she, somebody had fun. Maybe she Well, you would have thought that somebody. like Nora, I don't know, just like would be like wide open space, you know, go like Oh yeah, she was good. Exactly. She I could have left there all day. Or I'm sorry, Emma. I'm oh, sorry, Emma. Emma. Right. But I think she just wanted to be near she you. She is in that she just turned three on August twentieth. And up until literally her birthday, she has been like this, like perfect. We always say she's like the best little thing. Cause yeah. she is like, yeah. she listens to everything. She's like, she sleeps great. She's so well behaved because of our oldest is like off the walls all right. the time. Yeah. 
and she turned three and we're like what happened <laughs> like her terrible twos just hit a year later. are hitting it yeah and so now we're like in the like that it was like delayed phase. yeah um mm-hmm. where i thought i cleared the path but yeah no we're just entering we're it. just entering mm-hmm. it yeah. and she probably maybe is like in a transitional period with like because she was like the youngest and now of course we've welcomed exactly. someone else yes and yes and now it's always hold me hold me hold me right and she'll be like two babies like <laughs> that means she wants to be held while i'm holding oh my gosh hannah the baby She's, and of course I came and I wonder why my back feels like <laughs> you're like it's you gonna give out back all the time. Out. um that was like a lot of physical labor the, it is. at the pumpkin patch yeah that's why I don't work out no well you are working to. out no no you you are working out. I don't have to I get it I get it all out you know caring two, and as a fellow children. middle child I and feel so like am I. yeah exactly we're, we're both two girls middle out yeah. of two girls right um so we come from a lot you know a big female right. family I understand and we, the, the energy yes. the challenge is it is she you want the attention it's not easy True, true. So I, I, you know, I have to feel for it. But that would, anyways, that's a long-winded, I guess that would be the low. Yes. Um, But the bow, I think, is being here. Oh, my gosh. On this beautiful fall day. It's, the weather has finally dropped. Thank goodness. It's honestly here right? in Ohio. Like, it is fall. She's here to stay. She's yes. arrived. And you're so much better. in a, lo- so much better. a, a dashing finally blazer. Finally, I can wear, I wore, I tried to wear it like two weeks ago. And then I was like, oh, my, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Because it's a little itchy, which I don't mind. Yeah, but like right in the in the right idea. weather conditions. Yeah, exactly. Um, and if you're joining us on video, which if you are not familiar, you can watch our podcast on YouTube. You can see our outfits, which um, you know we really tried to come here with the fall vibes, and mm-hmm. they're here to stay. When I was in DC, the leaves like it fully so had changed. Perfect. Oh my god, it looks so. Pretty. So I think we're a little bit. I mean, obviously they're more a north, little behind, but yeah. yeah, it's coming for sure. Um, so yeah, fall has officially arrived here. But those yes. are some fantastic bows and lows oh thanks thanks and we're gonna get into <laughs> more about the girls yeah. um because like you mentioned before you have you're fun. one of well you have a brother too but right. you obviously one four, come but- one of four um two sisters mm-hmm. and then now you have three girls yes. as well yes. which there's just a different level of like bonding and I mm-hmm. feel like of understanding that people with three girls a house full of girls that you can understand absolutely um so Today, we have some questions from the audience oh, that they asked. And then before we get to that, because those are pretty specific, which okay. thank you all so much for sending in your questions. They're always so intentional. We're going to kind of back it up and just kind of talk about mm-hmm. you, how we know you, how okay. um, you are not originally from Cleveland, so how you kind of started your career here in Cleveland um, and everything in between. So I have I have a few questions. Okay, good. And I to hear came up, which a lot of them I know the answers <laughs> I was like, do you to. You already know the answers. So um, <laughs> but that's what makes it fun because I was like, okay, I'm gonna ask her these, and then I know the answers, but it'll lead to like Perfect. other other convos. Okay, so why don't you just start with where are you from originally? Okay. I am from Buffalo, New York. Yes, and I went to college in to Mercyhurst in Erie, PA. Yes. Um, moved back home for a year and then I ended up moving to Cleveland with mm-hmm. a bunch of friends from college so fun um yeah and my I majored in fashion merchandising yes. minored in marketing so I knew I wanted to work in fashion but not be in a big city it just wasn't for me yeah um always loved Nordstrom and I really knew I wanted to get into personal styling mm-hmm. and so it honestly all just like fell into place I um this was back when like you still would like go into making myself sound really old <laughs> no but, we were just um, talking about this before we recorded but this was like still like would like you would like kind of go in and like hand them your resume like are you hiring by chance oh yeah it was yeah, like yeah. kind of just when it was turning and it was also 2009 okay. so this was like after like 2008 obviously it was a very bad year no one was getting jobs anywhere <laughs> right. so it was a, dif- a different time um anyways I was just like very eager and I'm like you know I just want this to work like yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call I'll never forget my dad's like just call and t- ask for the store manager <laughs> just call and him I was up. like oh all right I, I guess yeah and now knowing how everything works there the fact that she like picked up right away is like very odd well it was meant <laughs> like, to she be she wasn't busy like <laughs> it was just like she answered it was like hi and I was like yeah. oh hi I'm like my name's you know Laura blah 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 I'm like I really want to come work at the store and I really want to be a personal stylist. And she was like, okay, who are you? Um, So long story short, it was like perfect timing because they were just revamping their personal styling program. Okay. And they kind of just like really were building again from scratch. Mm -hmm. Um, So she's like, your timing's perfect. And so I worked there for a few months um, and then... I was promoted to a personal stylist and I did that for 10 years there. That's I incredible. And yeah, for a lot of fun. Those who so Nordstrom had like a 
a program, like you said, right. for personal styling. They still so, do. It's just, diff- yeah. Yeah, yeah they, it's they just changed. Do. So how right. many people were part of the personal styling oh, team? Like how many? I think over the 10 years that I was there, I mean, at times there was five of us. At times there was maybe almost 10. Like, okay. So it would just vary. Depend. Yeah, it would yes. depend. Yes. It, absolutely. And, um, so as a personal stylist, kind mm-hmm. of kind of tell everyone listening, like yeah. what you did. You styled pretty much anyone in uh, really any men's like it wasn't men's, just mostly yeah. women's, but some men along the way. Um, they're never as fun. Obviously not. <laughs> they don't even realize like the talent like, right in front of upstairs them. <laughs> on the second floor of the women's department. Do you is. need a handbag? <laughs> uh, but it was fun. I really I treated it as my own business. Yes. And that everything under you know Nordstrom's roof was just kind of given to me and the fact that you know the clothes were there you yes. know the customers would call in um all, but all the merchandise was there you know they ran sales throughout the year and mm-hmm. points and blah 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 so that you know it was you could keep your customers on track throughout the year and right and entice them in ways to come back in and things like that um but what I loved about it was that I built such great relationships over the years yes um and like I said I did it for 10 years so I was I was successful at it. Yeah. Oh, a hundred percent. And I loved it. Um, so it was a mix between people would call in and ask for a stylist. Okay. And based on their needs, our manager, you know, would place them with who they thought would be the best fit. Yeah. Um, and then it was up to us, you know, we would follow up with them and again, try to like, the more I would hear about people's lives and what they'd have going on, the more I could help them with their clothing needs. And then another part of it was part of the time we'd be on the floor. So I'd meet customers on the floor as well. Okay. Um, and sometimes those would be like the best customers because they just need help that they day. They need then... help, and then they'd see how I could help them all across the store, not just in clothing, but in shoes and right. accessories. And I could totally help them with the whole look. Um, and like I said, I so I've been gone from Nordstrom for almost four years. Has I it been say. four years? I think it'll be it'll be four years in the spring. Okay, so almost that four flew years. By. It did, and then but um, but yeah, and so I still. I do like a little personal sign on the side. Yes. Um, are, they, are those still with some of the clients? Yes. I was going to say okay. some of those clients. And some of the clients are ones that I still work with my very first appointment I was ever given. I still no work way. With her. Yeah. Wait, that's mm-hmm. actually, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. That's so, so some cool. of these people, I forget like how long I've known them for. Like when <laughs> yeah. I stop and think about it. Well, and also just like, I know for like our family, like we've mm-hmm. grown up. Right. And so right. like you have, you know, dressed us through yes. every stage. Yes. Absolutely. Um, and again, before we started recording the podcast, like I, we were talking about just so much, so many big life events at Nordstrom, yes, which I know sounds I know. so funny, right? But, but it really not, was it like the yeah. backdrop of so many absolutely <laughs> things right. that happened in our childhood. And like, I just remember, um, well, first of all, what I think is so funny is when I was little, I used to think that the store was like huge. Like I, I seriously thought it was like I know. the biggest place right. ever. Mm-hmm. Um, but it really was like an event, and you know, we would go to lunch there. We would go with our grandma and like shop and Mm -hmm. we I met you when I was 11 or 12 and Claire had her eighth grade birthday party at Nordstrom at Nordstrom yeah like literally at Nordstrom like hosted (laughs) and honest to god it was like one of the best it wasn't even my birthday it was like one of the best days of my life (laughs) and you had just started working there so you must have been like my age 23 I I probably was Twenty-four. yeah yeah Yeah, I was probably yeah exactly because you worked with another stylist who at the time Kim was she was a manager so she was my manager manager. exactly yes yes. um and so basically it was like a shopping day for all the girls and Mm -hmm. I was you know there I think Elizabeth must have been like too young I swear she was always playing soccer Elizabeth yeah she was always we were trying like she was always like doing something athletic yeah well she had so much (laughs) energy and like would always throw tantrums and I think that that we would just like put her in some sort of physical activity so (laughs) like to like get it out of her you don't get to come to Nordstrom (laughs) no no you don't get because you're so unruly um sorry but any yeah sorry love you (laughs) Betsy so it was like a shopping day and then um there was like a fashion show too you guys had a fashion show and they had someone like who worked in corporate who that was her job <laughs> was to like throw these parties for customers yeah and so they totally p- would personalize it to how you wanted it and so yes. because it was Claire's birthday party she came up I think there was like even like a little candy bar and then there was like oh my god the candy bar I just that just came up right the yeah. candy bar and then um you guys got like to go I think you even got to go in the back shoe room yes and like find we were in the, the back sh- so anyway so you guys got to pick out your own shoe you guys got to pick out a pair of shoes yes, yes. and um and then in an outfit and then you had like a fashion show it was like but a legit like they had <laughs> like a run it was a runway it was, like it was run- in one of the lunch rooms they like converted one of the lunch oh, rooms where it was? to like the party room yeah but there was like actually a stand at one point that which looking back on it it was probably that. just like what you stood on for like alterations, alterations or something right, but, but they, they put that it. in the middle and I was like <laughs> this is that. my runway like I I, I 
am this is a show the party was for claire but it was really for emily <laughs> i had died and gone to heaven at that point um but all of the girls got to keep the shoes the shoes right so all that was like part of like the gift yeah in the party that yes all the girls in the party and i don't know what were there like 10 girls i think there was like 10 or 12 something girls like, like that yeah and so Kim, who we were talking about, she was my manager. And so she said, can you help me with this party? I was like, of course. This sounds right. so fun. Yeah. And so she's like, the girls don't know it, but the shoes that they pick <laughs> out, they're going to be able to keep. That's like their parting gift from the Snorchin' birthday party. <laughs> so she's like, make sure when they pick out these shoes that they fit. Right. Right. Because like, we don't want to be going back down and blah, blah, blah. And so meanwhile, these girls are all like, what did you say? 10 or 12? I was 10 or 12. They were 14. So 14. Yeah. So young. And they're all picking out these like heel, high, high heels. Platform. And I'm like, oh my God, this is going to be a disaster like when they get huge home. huge like heels. Right. Yeah. So they all pick out their shoes. They have their little fashion show. And they're all, I can picture you guys still sitting in these little, in these chairs. And like Kim announces that you can keep these shoes. <laughs> and everyone's excited. But Emily is like, like if everyone's at this level excited, Emily is like way up to the ceiling. Like she, this little girl, was just like ecstatic, <laughs> freaking out, freaking out that she could keep these shoes. Like so ecstatic, she's like freaking out, and this girl, other girl next to her is just staring down at her feet with like wide eyed, and she goes, "My mom's gonna kill me." <laughs> it was just, was, oh my god, it was so funny, and that was my first encounter with Emily. <laughs> I totally remember every part of that day, and it was genuinely yeah. like when she made that announcement. Like I remember yeah, thinking, I like I don't think so cute. I was peeking, like I don't think I'll ever be happier. No, <laughs> it was adorable. Cute. It was like Christmas morning times 10 <laughs> she's I'm like I get a free pair of shoes at Nordstrom my mind yeah and I remember adorable. the shoes um they were like little flats and they had like so a funny. seersucker bow and they like tied of <laughs> and I remember like we were you know the like everyone had picked their shoes out mm-hmm. and we were going upstairs and I was like obviously being indecisive because I was like sure. picking this one and picking that one I was like oh I like these and yeah. you were like, I'll take five <laughs> on the ground with me like putting my shoe on to make sure that they fit because at the time I didn't know like I was like right. whatever like they'll just go and I vividly remember you're like on the ground you're like Emily we have to go back upstairs and I was like in my own little it's time world. to go you picked up pair out you're done <laughs> yeah um so yeah that was like the first time yes. that <clears throat> we met and then after that you know we would just like come in mm-hmm. to different styling st- I we would walk into the dressing room and you would like have everything yes, set up. I know. So that's what I didn't talk about either about my job. So I would have everything ready before a customer would come in. Yes. So based on what they were shopping for, I would pull everything ahead of time, have like head to toe looks all in there ready to go. Um, so it was, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. And then how did you, so obviously like when you first meet with someone like mm-hmm. a, a new client or a potential new client, is it hard to kind of figure out what their style is or did a lot of times yes. they not know so they just came to you to a kind little of, bit of both yeah I would say and I would always tell when I was working with a new client I, w- I would always say you know I would go through and I would tell them why I picked everything out and I would say if you put this on and you hate it like show me right I want to see why you hate it because yeah. if I don't know what you hate about it we're not going to get anywhere you yes. know so that would help me a lot um there was a questionnaire that I would ask new oh. customers and I always thought the most important question to ask them was what their favorite stores were or yeah. brands. Because yes. that, if someone says that they, you know, they love Madewell and J. Crew, that's great. But if someone tells me, you know, all they wear is Max Mara and, yeah. you know, Chanel, <laughs> that's going to tell right. me something else about right. a different type of customer. Right. So that would really narrow it down and help me a lot with their style. Okay. Yeah. So then I would kind of go from there. And again, once you start working with someone and seeing what they like and what they don't like, yes, um, I could, you know, kind of pinpoint and get get down to their style yeah faster. and the good thing about Nordstrom um I mean I feel like we're a spokespeople we love Nordstrom very right. deeply um is that they did have so many brands that you exactly could work with, and they so. carried and again back again back when I started yeah um gr- women and you know young girls were still wearing suits to work 100%. all the times and so <sighs> what a time to be alive that was always <laughs> right the good old days yeah um but that was a great thing about Nordstrom too because if you needed a suit you could get a halogen suit yep you could get a classique suit, which mm-hmm. is like a Nordstrom brand, or you could get like a Lafayette suit. So yep. those are like three different price points. Yes. And so that would always be really helpful too when I'd be, you know, someone would call and saying like, oh, I just started a job or blah, blah, blah. And I'd say, well, what's your what's your budget yeah. for this? And, mm-hmm. you know, we would ask that question too. And then that would kind of narrow it down to what direction you're going to go in and, yeah. you know, what areas of the store you're going to pull clothes from. Um I that that is amazing just like going in for your f- first suit, like how I exciting. I miss it. Yeah. And those were good I times. feel like it almost made – 
getting for work or dressing for work rather easier. Probably. Because you always had those, ba- you know, staples to fall back on. Yeah. But now I feel like when it's like business casual, it's like, well, this is too casual. You know, people like yeah. question it too much. Because then- you would have your suits or you would have right. your, your blazers and you exactly. just knew like during the week, this is right. what I was putting on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> what was your like age group of clients? Was it so I predominantly would say like... Predominantly, it would be like mid to late 40s to like mid 60s, mm-hmm. predominantly, I would say. Um, but I certainly had some younger clients um, and some older clients. Yeah. But I would yeah. say the majority kind of fell into that, yes. that range. Yeah. Um, okay. What would – I don't know if you have the answer if you need a minute to think about mm-hmm. it. But um, what is like the, the craziest thing or like a story that you're always going to remember oh, from God. like personal shopping? I always ask like if I have an influencer <laughs> on here. I feel like there's always – I have some, but I feel like they're not appropriate to share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We can talk about You can just imagine online. that. Just people being like – just touched by like how much I helped them yeah. and like yeah. they would write me like these really thoughtful thank you notes oh my gosh. and like even like them just giving referrals you know yeah. referrals and would be really you yeah know, touching yeah because um, I was it was 100% commission that job yes and that's I was in right. my young 20s so um, and you had you mentioned this like last week you had like um sales goals that you had to hit because I was mm-hmm. kind of talking about like just yes. like, influencing how it's transitioned but right. like right. you had that number yeah and was that Absolutely. for the month it was for um or was it, it was for like Christmas? a pay period so it was every like two weeks give or take that you would have sales goals um and then they would also track like what percentage of customers would come back and shop with you more than once oh because as a personal stylist like obviously they want that number to be high that sure you know that shows that you're shopping with the same people over and over again um so they would track anything you could think about was that you know they would track a lot <laughs> and then did you have like um like what areas you're selling from like they'd want to make sure you're not just selling from like one area in specific oh so they'd want to see that you're like selling from like because if you're familiar with Nordstrom there's many different departments and yeah there used to be even more um they kind of just smushed them all together but they'd want to see that you're selling from all over mm-hmm. and they want to see that you're selling jewelry they want to see that you're selling shoes even some cosmetics so I would always like throw in my favorite like lip gloss or lipstick and yeah even just to like give them the idea that like I can sell you know I yeah. can't I'm not gonna like start doing your makeup I'm not <laughs> right but that. someone downstairs I'm not good could. At that, but right yeah. but even just like refilling staples or um but yeah so they they would track yeah you know what percentage of like each department that you're selling as well we just had to uh, switch up battery really quick for the camera and I warned Laura I was like there might be some technically techni- technological issues but so far everything's working well yeah I'm so very impressed by all of this oh uh, well it's kind of makeshift <laughs> but it works so. um okay so you had to hit your sales goal was there yeah. ever like a time that you can remember that you like exceeded it and you were just like oh my gosh like this is did you I also think that you I'm gonna ask you two different questions oh, okay. have mentioned this before like you kind of get like a sales high which yes, I have like absolutely to experience yes. and I like love it right it's like do, yes yeah, I, you kind of get addicted like to it I'd be like ringing out a customer and I'd be like more excited than them about their new clothes <laughs> like cha-ching yeah I just like couldn't stop talking about it. I'm like this is so exciting I yeah. wish it was but yeah absolutely I just I loved it um what was the first part that you asked oh again? so with like oh the, the time yeah. so July July and December November December were the biggest months okay um July because of the anniversary sale of course, of course. iconic so we'd always have high goals for that um, and then there's a few, a few years I was the number one salesperson in the whole store. Okay, so that was ex- always yeah. my goal. So that was surprised. exciting yeah. to mm-hmm. hit. Um, but that also meant that I was there like nonstop. I was going to say, you know, it's so it's a lot. Like, 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 and you're on your feet the whole time. Yes, <laughs> like this exactly. is not like behind yes. it. You're running around. No, and you have it's, to... yeah, it's a lot. And it's a three story store. So it's, it is. A th- it was yes. a lot, you know. Yeah. yeah. Good thing I was young. But, um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so I would say that, um, I would probably just say like maybe like the first time maybe that that happened yeah. you know it was very exciting it's super exciting yeah very yeah. exciting um I remember my dad when I started he would be like call me when you have your first ten thousand dollar sale oh my gosh like call me when that yeah. happens and yeah. so you know I'd have a, a few good ones and things like that and then um I had a twenty thousand dollar sale oh my god and so I called him I was like I, I didn't have a ten thousand but I had a twenty thousand he's like what <laughs> <laughs> like I'll raise so that one. was I remember that so that was exciting yeah no um, that is exciting but yeah and then of course the holidays and every day they would have I mean, obviously it was very sale, sales driven every day they would have the top 10 salespeople. every day every day oh my yep. gosh so every morning during like the morning announcements they would like say like the top 10 so that was always like a Oh my gosh! Too. yeah so did you feel like since you did work on commission mm-hmm. um like I mean yes you were kind of on a team with other personal stylists right. but it pretty much was right. like an individual sport it really was <laughs> you were yeah, you were there absolutely. to yeah absolutely that's why like people would get like a little you'd say you know like sharky 
because yeah. they get very you know that's why I like I like to like meet my customers work with my customers like and just kind of keep to myself in a way that like right. to not you know get into the, the like, drama side of like it. Like crossover with people. Absolutely. Which yeah. is also good to get, like really solidify those relationships from the beginning yes. so there was like never a question of like who exactly. your client was versus right. somebody else. And, yeah and then it got to the point where like everyone kind of like as a, the stylist team goes everyone kind of knew whose customers were who you know yes. so that way if someone was out and they needed a favor you right. know something like that we right. would always help each other out yes so. and something you just mentioned prior prior to this when I was changing the camera battery mm-hmm. was um you actually started working with our grandmother Joyce yes I did so I I met you guys like we talked about during the party and then I would always see you guys come in and we would chat and like you know I always got re- along really well with your mom and you guys of course and at the time you were working with Kim who's great and um but I'd always think like gosh like I, I feel like I should be working with that yeah, like yeah. I just feel like we're on the same there level was like a and connection. like yeah. yeah I could just we got along really well and then she ended up um leaving she had adorable twin girls yes who are now like I think almost teenagers which I was is gonna crazy. say I think they're like they must be right <laughs> <Yeah>. crazy <laughs> yeah um but so she ended up leaving and she handed you know yeah. recommended me right. to your mom and um your grandmother yeah so Joyce who we all know and love <laughs> Um, actually started working with me first. Yes. And she is a hoot. by far a hoot and one of my favorite customers <laughs> by far forever. Yes. Forever. She is just so fun to work with. Yes. Absolutely. Um, she, she, I forgot about that part of the whole story is yes. she did start working with you first. So, mm-hmm. um, just because we all, everyone here on the pod and Bose and company loves Joyce. Yes. She, could you I talk about, about, <laughs> about the, the comments from Joyce? What? Um, tell us a little bit about like, I mean, I know, like, the matching. Right. Well, she she would always have a different – and most people would. You know, they would come in saying, like, I need to shop for this, this, or this. But Joyce's was very specific. <laughs> very specific. So some days, you know, it would have to be color, like, a lot of color. Yes. You know, and I'd be, like, scrounging the store for color. <laughs> right. And it wouldn't just be, like, red. It would no. Be, it oh, no, would no, be no, like... no, no. It would be, like, a certain shade of pink or something. Oh, right. <laughs> like... And it's not just – and, like, so, again, working from a commission standpoint, she was, like – this customer like from heaven because right <laughs> she would want the head to toe look yes which I would love working with someone like that because it's so fun yes so you know she'd get an outfit on that she'd love and she you know we'd get just as excited about it and you know she'd be like all right what, what earrings am I wearing you know I'd mm-hmm. find a pair of earrings and she's like well what bag I was like oh just you know like a, a, a pretty like brown like camel bag she's like oh well <laughs> I don't have that. I was like, D- don't you though? Really? Like, like I'm don't sure I've, you, Joyce? I've seen some of your person. And so she's like, well, not not the shade. <laughs> and it so would like, like the earrings, hold on. the shoes. Yeah, hold on. So I'd run downstairs. I'd bring her up a bag. She's like, I- perfect. <laughs> like she would leave with so fun, a full just look. so fun, a and full she, look. Yes, and she, you know, like honestly, Joyce would be the ideal customer because like she would come in with yeah. probably a specific event a specific, that she had to go yes. to, and she yes. like so appreciated the help and of course, and she has such a great sense of style already. Yes that she doesn't really need my help but it's just like you know what I mean like we just we worked really well together and, and it does make the whole like Nordstrom experience so much more fun when like there is a and then I always think it's fun like then you would go to the event like or when yes. we would come in for like homecoming or um any sort of like life event then you would like dress this for that and then like come back in and be like oh here are the pictures or here right you know, I know exactly here are all the compliments it's, it's fun I to got. see yeah it's, it's fun to see the, the clothes outside yes um and another thing because a lot of customers would come in you know, you'd help them, you'd tell them all these beautiful clothes. And the next time they come in, they're, you know, wearing like all athletic stuff or yeah. like, you know, I'm like, oh, like, you know, whatever. And both your mom and Joyce would always come in and like head to toe outfits. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, like you're wearing it. When I was <laughs> younger, like if we were going to Nordstrom, like I was dressing up. Right. Like, this was right. A, this, I can't like, I feel like I need to really get across how big of an impact Nordstrom had on my childhood. <laughs> like we really, it we was. dressed up, we were having lunch, like we were... And yeah. also, sorry, my headphones are like falling off my head. Um, also, just to give you guys some context, like where we live, we live on like the like right, probably right. like forty five minutes away from Nordstrom, forty minutes. Mm-hmm. So um, mm-hmm. again, when I was younger, not only it was, did a, it was a day, was huge, it was a like trip. we were traveling to get there. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> right. Like I was. It was a day trip. Snow. It was a day trip, <laughs> and like how we mentioned earlier before this, like Columbus Day was just yesterday. You know, anytime there was like a day off of school or mm-hmm. we had like a break, you know, we were so fun. We were at Nordstrom. Yeah. Um, so it really was, you know, like an event we were, right. What I wore to Nordstrom was just as important as what I was buying. Like what we right. were getting. Absolutely. So, well, and I agree too, because even growing up in Buffalo, we didn't have a Nordstrom. Oh and yeah. So whenever we would like, my I get my shopping sense from my both my parents are are good shoppers yeah, yeah. Um, and they both have a great sense of style and so growing up whenever we'd be on vacation or we'd go to Florida a lot because my grandparents live there we would always find a Nordstrom yeah 
And then my sister ended up coming to John Carroll for college. Yes. Um, and of course, you know, the Nordstrom, he, which one I ended right. up working at. Yeah. Um, so it was always like a thing. Like, you know, go to town, like, oh, there's a Nordstrom there. Like, yes. there's a Nordstrom. Yes. So it was always like, I think that's part of the reason, too, I wanted to work there because I loved retail and fashion so much. And I would always look to Nordstrom as such a fun yes. store. Yes. Like, you know, somewhere it was so enjoyable to be. Right. So you mentioned that you went to Mercyhurst um, mm-hmm. and you talk about a little bit how maybe your major and minor like helped in the mm-hmm. job or or what you learned that you like didn't see coming that could not be I taught think, in a college right. setting. Well, I think um, going into it, you know, going into college and going to that major, I just kind of like as- assumed I would end up in New York City. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And so I had that in the back of my mind. And then what I loved so much about the major was it really just gave you it was in it was in self a a business major just in the fashion industry. So you really learned all the ins and outs of the fashion industry, which was very important. Um, And I think (laughs) maybe the biggest thing I learned was that I I don't like New York City. (laughs) Yeah, you know that. Like I mean, I love it. I respect it. I respect people who who live there. Um, but it's just not for me to live there. Totally. I couldn't agree with and you more. And I kept thinking like, that's, that's what you do. Like if you major in fashion merchandising, then you have to end up in New York city mm-hmm. working in fashion. Like mm-hmm. that's, that, that's the, the, the goal. Um, and I went in college and I was like, oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> no. no, no, <laughs> like, no there's no, too no. many people. Yeah. Oh, um, I feel the same way. And so I think that kind of like threw me a curve bomb. It's like, well, what am I going to do? You mm-hmm. know? Um, and I worked in retail all throughout college and really enjoyed it um and it was hard you know Saturday mornings everyone's sleeping in and like I wanted to sleep in too but I'm like at the same time like it's kind of nice to get dressed and like you know to go into work totally um and so I kind of just kept on that path um and I graduated from college I like I said I moved back home for a year I worked with a woman who was starting like a higher end boutique in the Buffalo area and I she was again like just opening up like I was there opening day So I got to help out with that. Um, So I saw some, you know, different sides of retail. Yeah. And I, you know, I enjoyed it. I got to see, you know, sides that I like, sides that I didn't like. And I really knew that I wanted to, like, you know, focus more on the personal styling. So I would say that's kind of what led me Mm -hmm. to the track I was on, if that answered that question. (laughs) No, it definitely did. And working for, like, a bigger company like Mm -hmm. Nordstrom probably did also, like, offer you the training that a smaller boutique earlier on in your career. Right, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. and then after you left Nordstrom, you transitioned for... So you were at Kilgore for two years. So I was at Kilgore for th- three years? Three years, yeah. Three years. That flew by. Three years. It really did. I have to like really stop and think about it. Because once yes. I started having kids, I feel like everything's a blur. Right. Um, but yeah, so Nordstrom was going through a lot of changes, you know, with the online business growing so much. You know, all the stores changed a lot, obviously. And the inventory would, started to change a lot. And so working from commission and you know, trying to outfit your customer completely and with half of the store being, not half, I'm exaggerating, but a lot of things being taken out to go online. It was making my job challenging and there was just a lot of things going on and I had a baby now and Mm -hmm. things were just, you know, becoming a little different. And I was, um, reached out to from a locally, local store called Kilgore Trout. Yep. Um, which they've been in business for over 40 years, Mm -hmm. men's and women's, majorly men's, but women's Mm -hmm. as well. And they were looking for a new woman's manager. Mm -hmm. And it was more, you know, it was salary based. It was 9.30 to 6 at the time before COVID. So it was just a little bit more streamlined, I guess you could say. Yeah. And at the time it was like, you know what? Maybe this is a good, a good break from Nordstrom. Right. And I mean, I thought I would never leave that place. Yeah. You know, and I, I still miss, you know, if it was like how it always was, I probably never would have. Totally. Uh, but again, because of how everything was changing and, you know, the new benefits of this new store. Um, so, yeah. So I went to there and I did. I loved it's It's so different to work for a family owned business, you yes. know, and it's definitely you really feel the, the differences, mm-hmm. you know, good and bad. Of course, there's good and bad things of every job. But at, at that point in my life and then I ended up getting pregnant again, not long after I was there and then COVID hit. So it was just right. a lot going on. Yeah. But and then you had, yeah. And then, yeah. And so then when I had my third, um, when I had Hannah, I, then, you know, I told them before I left that I, that was going to be, right. That right. Was gonna be it, and again, so. it was like, just to give you guys some context, like it was a haul to get well, over there. that too. If it was like 10 minutes away, that would have right. been a different story, but it was 45 minutes away. Yes. And so yeah. I went down from four days to just three days once I had two girls 
And even the three days, like, I just felt like I was constantly, like, rushing everywhere. Totally. You know, yeah. rushing to get to work, rushing to get home to pick them up. Yeah. Um, and so it just, yeah, but I knew by the time I had my third that it was just too much yeah. for the drive and everything. Yeah. But so. really, and so did a lot of um, clients that you worked with at Nordstrom, obviously you would still go into Nordstrom and shop right. with them, but did they right. come over to... Some some certainly did. Like I said, it was smaller um, and it was, it's higher end, so right. it's not for everybody. Um, so, but some customers, absolutely. They came over and, and some had already been shopping there too, a little bit. Um, so it was a little bit of a mix. And then I still, while I was at Kilgore, I still did the personal styling on the side too yes. for customers that, you know, that that didn't apply to them. Um, and so, yeah. So like I said, I still do that. And then it was a little over a year ago. I think that I started working with you. Yes. So then we'll right? transition so I, to talking I about me. Little things on the side that <laughs> yeah. kept me busy. Um, but this was also just so good to like give some context coming from your personal styling and your mm-hmm. fashion background and merchandising. So then while you were at Kilgore, you mm-hmm. did, was it? Yeah, you were at Kilgore still, but mm-hmm. when you started working yes. with us. Yes. yes. Well, I would always tease you because like I would always obviously hear about what you were doing yes. back when you like first started right. forever ago <laughs> so long with ago. your YouTube videos. Yes. And then I feel like when you started to get busier and as you got older, I would always say, when okay, when you get when you get too busy, when you need help, yeah. just call me. I'll, yeah. I'll come work for you, you know. <laughs> and we would always say, we're like, when we get to that point, like, you're the first person. Yeah, I'm like, are you ready yet? Like, <laughs> come on. I have, like, speed it up. Yeah. yeah, so you began um, with two things. You helped with and made the mood boards mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. us, which was so helpful because, again, now knowing everything that Laura has done, like, her, obviously her eye and her style and her fashion like is, is so on point um because she would literally dress me <laughs> so you knew and the, I knew what you liked and didn't the like the other yeah. thing with Laura is like your ability to find clothes and know the merchandise that's on every like J Crew Nordstrom like you know mm-hmm. the market like you're like oh I saw that or this is gonna fit like it's it's next it's next level <laughs> like it's good and bad. she can shop <laughs> so well and just can visualize like the whole outfit on the person and um just like knowing what just came out and that's you need no, to know that especially with like I do my I do my homework yes. no you really do <laughs> I don't need to do it because you do it for me, me. trouble sometimes but yes I do my homework <laughs> um so you start off by making the mood boards and then also you ran our Poshmark yes for us which was super helpful mm-hmm. and and so we would, I feel like for like a year there, every time I saw you, I was just dropping off like bags of My clothes. basement was just garbage bags of yeah. your clothes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you had like a full like store going it on It was downstairs. fun. Yeah. It was like, oh, what's, what, what's in this one? What's yeah. in, yeah, exactly. Um, and, and again, with, as you know, with like three girls, you know, we were always rotating clothes or people yes. were in and out of what they liked and just different styles and stuff. So that was really helpful. Um, and then over the summer, you know, as Emily Obos was growing and I wanted to really just like take this to the next level, my mom and I were definitely like talking about, okay, we, you know, we want to have Laura like mm-hmm. more full on a, on a bigger scale. Um, and luckily we were in the position where I was like, okay, you know, you were the first person where we wanted to mm-hmm. jump on in. Um, and so now you are coming once a week mm-hmm. in person and um, which has been like life changing. I have say it's made such a difference. I mean, no, like it's like night and day. It's, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm so glad you feel that way because I think it's so fun and I yeah. feel like we get so much done so much done and it's first of all it's beyond fun like it's mm-hmm. just so fun too because as you know at, like everyone listening I live at home still and I work alone so sometimes it can be like it's not even isolating that's not the right word because that's right, so dramatic but, but just like quiet. you're you quiet yeah. <laughs> they're quiet it's well not, not quiet with my mom and I after yeah, that's true that's yeah. true but um to have like a team basically yes, absolutely. is so exciting right, for sure and I've learned a lot too so why don't you talk a little bit about I've tried to explain this before but I think mm. coming from you it's good like okay. what your tasks are um and like working on the team and like what what we have done together the past sure two months. sure okay <laughs> um well, like you said so I do the Poshmark stuff that's obviously all at home yes um so posting the pictures you know packaging it up mailing it all that and so if you ever buy anything from my closet you're talking me. to Laura <laughs> yes it's really it's really me and Emily's d- d- disguise yeah yes. yes exactly <laughs> the, the secret's out yeah um um but what okay what do I do yes. okay got it um <laughs> Like, what was the question again? What do I do? What do we do? Okay, yeah. I'm here now. Um, okay, so we go over. Um, well, Anne is like the best manager. Yes, momager. She is the momager. momager and we right? come up with like an agenda. We I was started say, off so she, exactly. So she has an agenda ready to go. They're so the, both two of them are so organized. Um, so she has an agenda. So we always go over some like key things, maybe like what worked well. You know, right. the week before, like right. what was a, a big hit. Yeah, um, we like to do we talk about the top 10 picks yeah, that's that you started consistent. doing yes. um, which is good to track so we go over that what to put on that board and then I get that all organized 
And then we kind of go through some things that you have coming up, whether it's, you know, a thing that you, maybe you're going to be, you know, working with Nordstrom or right. something. And so getting some like Nordstrom looks together, um, you know, made well and Amber Crombie were having a sale. So yeah. I put some mood boards together of that and right. going yeah. over what I find from the stores and showing you. Um, so a little bit. It's a little bit of everything. A little in bit fact, of everything. Um, it even, um, you know, I go up to your room, <laughs> unpack, yeah. unpack new things and yeah. get them ready. And, exactly. Um, a little bit. I was joking there. I'm like, oh, I feel like because something I opened up something that I had picked out for you. And I was like, oh, my God, like she's got to wear this to this that she has coming up. Right. And I'm like, I feel like I'm dressing a celebrity. <laughs> Like, oh and God. have her wear these shoes and you know it's just it's just fun no and also well thank you that's far from it I appreciate that I'm like oh my god yeah, yeah. No. Like, okay you're gonna wear this and this to this event yeah um well it's also just good to have like uh, another perspective because like obviously like we we all pick out the clothes together like mm-hmm. now especially the past two months mm-hmm. but then like when they come in person and you can like feel and touch it like to have right. three different eyes right on how to style this and everyone all, all of us giving our ideas yes yeah. yes and you also coming from a personal styling background and have dressed so many women in mm-hmm. so many different phases of their life and in so many different mm-hmm. careers and positions like you're able to see what you know the the modern woman as I like to call her right needs right. What and like gonna, yes. and what she and again on the higher end side you know for the ladies who like to wear Veronica sure. Beard or Alice sure. and Olivia and then also for you know the women who are you know Amazon has so many right. great options absolutely and, all the great target finds yeah and, target finds sure. and stuff so it is a wide range um which I think is absolutely. so interesting because I feel like a lot of times when influencers are, are onboarding somebody else on their team like it's it's coming from a place of okay you need to know like social media or right but like the asset that you are when it comes to the fact that you just know so much about merchandising and styling and fashion like that is like canva we can sit and like figure out canva right, together right, like right, and like exactly. not that i'm even the best in it i'm like oh, okay let's yeah, put together not the technical things have come slower no but um, uh, no but you pick those up even like well quick i think too. too what makes such a huge difference and what makes it work so well is that we all have the same taste exactly which yes. makes it so yes. fun because i'll find something i'm like oh my god yeah and we're all screaming this. and then everyone we all get all ex- like as equally as excited about it you know so i think yeah. that's you know coming from even uh, the jobs that i have had and where people like you know where you don't see eye to eye with people you work with like yeah it's just so fun. I'm like, oh, yeah, you, you guys, are you lying to me? Like, you really like everything no, I do. The, you know what I mean? I'm like, gas. like, you can be honest. <laughs> yeah, the gas that but come out. So I think out. that's what makes it so fun. Too, it does make it so fun. Um, And I just feel like even with, like, the past two months, I mean, I feel like, I don't know if you guys at home have noticed, but I can definitely see a difference in not only, like, the content that we're putting mm-hmm. out, Great. the sales goals that we've hit. People don't realize is how time-consuming everything is. Yes. You know, and just making one of those boards takes an hour, sometimes more. Yes. You know, sometimes the – you know you said which is very nice that you said it's I find things fast but sometimes it's not you know sometimes it takes a little bit longer to put things together and have it make sense yes um, yeah so I think people don't realize all the behind the scenes things and how long everything takes. I know well and, <laughs> and I'll even get questions like from other people like oh I'm an influencer like what do you do and I'm like well like it's just it's hard to I don't know where to start <laughs> right one how to put thing it. to it absolutely you know right. and you know like you said there's a sale coming up so Luckily, we have access to that ahead of time. And then mm. we work backwards. Right. And we exactly. decide what we want to share, um, you know, if right. we want to make this like a big deal or right. if it's just like a mood board or two. We're coming more from now. I think my um, out, not even outlook, but like mm-hmm. has transitioned a bit where I look at it more as you're on a retail calendar mm-hmm. like you were at right. working at Nordstrom and personal styling. Whereas right. before I was like, oh, you know, influencing like you want to, you know, hit big numbers and go viral and, right but right. now I'm definitely looking at it more like we are personal mm-hmm. stylists we're trying to be as helpful as yeah, possible to all absolutely. these women you know who follow and who are, have busy lives and sharing the mm-hmm. most information with them so I think when I come from that perspective like and that started definitely when you came on and, and began helping us like it almost makes it more fun right because absolutely. it's like you're dressing real people yeah, who are sure. walking around in life so yeah, absolutely yeah that's the, just the a modern little, way of styling just right? a little <laughs> growth <laughs> yeah absolutely so absolutely. I do have a few questions oh, yeah, um that they have asked you okay which is so exciting and sometimes I'll get dms from people and they'll be like oh my gosh like they refer to you now by their first name which is so I'm like I'm happy that we feel famous no (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh okay so I haven't even really I I saw a few of them that came in last night but I'm also kind of reading these for the first time as well so the first question is what specific tasks and duties do you do I feel like we we kind of touched upon that that. and actually I did post a day in the life on my TikTok the other day this was last week when you came Mm -hmm. over because I have been getting a lot of questions recently and I actually read out loud the agenda oh yeah that we did because 
I feel like I was like, what do we do this? And that's like what this right. Week. So definitely right. go watch that if you want more information. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, what is, this is funny. What is your favorite part of the job? <laughs> oh gosh. The shopping, I guess. <laughs> the shopping. The shopping and being with you and Anne. Yeah. Um, no, like I said, I mean, we have so much fun together. Yes. And it's so nice that to once a week, it makes such a difference to get together face to face. Totally. Um, so I think the f- my most favorite part would probably just be coming over here to your beautiful house and <laughs> having coffee and chatting and then getting to work. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. It's become the highlight of yeah. both of our weeks for sure. Um, oh, okay. The next question, how did you both make a connection and begin working mm-hmm. together? So like we, we said, it's that. been gradual mm-hmm. and years we've known each other, which I think has also been like just the foundation of this being such a successful match because right. we've known we each, know other each other for so Absolutely. long. Um, okay. We've answered a lot of these. What type of work did you do in the past? Oh, um, Three things she has learned about social media and influencing since starting oh, working wow. with you. That's a hard one. Three things I've learned about Probably just media. like the technology. I would say, well, the first thing is, again, how time consuming it all is. Oh, well, Again, right. I don't think, you know, you scroll through and you see influencers you follow, like posting this, this, and this, but you don't realize like what they put into it. Mm-hmm. You know, even like ordering things online, you know, things come, especially from Amazon, they are sealed. <laughs> they are. They are packaged like they should never be opened. <laughs> like no one should ever. They are yeah. wrinkled. Like, <laughs> yeah. so, I mean, just obviously she doesn't put things on that you know are wrinkled in a ball right, like so right. even just prepping the merchandise that is, she's gonna show or you know is a film you know everything just takes so much time yeah so I think I've learned that um definitely all the technology yeah I mean Canva alone doing the mood board I joke that I've like I'm a graphic designer now no but I'm like you literally are near one <laughs> <laughs> but I joke about that so that would be the second um what's the third let me think let me think let me think um maybe I'll have, like more again like all the behind the scene things of like yeah. you know the events that you go to um yeah even like the fashion week things that you went to the things that they hosted for influencers right you know just learning more about that and just the industry in, in general I would say yeah yeah no I would I would agree with all of those um okay oh some this is a cute question <laughs> this is gonna like lean into your styling family fall photo session outfit ideas oh okay so That's I'm actually cute. getting ready myself for that oh okay so tell us what you're we're doing. doing ours in two weeks um so I love the Cat and Jack brand at Target. Oh. For any of those who have kids out there, you probably already know about it. Um, but they come out with the cutest prints. It's not expensive. Mm-hmm. So if you ruin it, like, it's fine. Um, and there's so many, like, I love getting things for them that's mix and matchable, right? Yes. So I'll get, like, four or five pieces of that Cat and Jack brand that can all coordinate with each other. Um, so they have a new little fall dress, which is super sweet. And they have it in all three sizes. So it's cute. It's just like a very fall, like wines, you know, pinks, oranges, like fall floral print. Okay. Well, this is fabulous. So yeah. So they're all going to wear that. And then I say every year I do this, I say like, oh, they'll wear it again for Thanksgiving. But then I find something else that I like better for them. (laughs) (laughs) They have another outfit change. So they wear something else. Um, Yeah. And so then I I usually start with their outfit just because it's sometimes more fun and easier. And then, so I'm going to kind of go off of that. I'm trying to find, I think I found something. Okay. Um, I just have to get in the right size, but it's kind of like pinks and a little bit of black. Mm-hmm. So it'll kind of like go off of that. And then my husband, we joke, he, I feel like he wears the same thing every year. <laughs> and like, but is he's, anyone look, looking at him in the picture? That's why I always <laughs> tell him. I'm like, I don't know why you're worried. Like no one's looking at you. Sorry. No, <laughs> or me. Everyone's just looking at the kids. I, which I always say to our photographer, I'm like, I just, if I'm in it, great. But I just want one of them. Yes. Like just one good one of them where they're all like, looking halfway like you know smiling and exactly. like, like they're happy right um but okay so I would say that's maybe that's one idea mm-hmm. like I guess if that's a good idea like to start with the kids to find even if you just find like if you have a few kids or whether you have one kid or five kids find something that inspires you yes you know you find you got to start with one so I would say try to find a print that you like I love that and go off of that print because then you can pull colors out and it's you know, the guys are easy. Throw jeans or khakis on them and a solid color shirt, mm-hmm. you know, that's mm-hmm. one of the colors in the prints and kind of go from there. Where are you taking the picture? I don't know if you want to give it all away. I don't. <laughs> um, I actually, that's a good question. So our photographer, is a, a, she's a friend, and I think, I forget even where she does them. I want to say like a, a field of some sort. <laughs> it sounds like so sketchy. No, I but know what you're like, talking about. Yeah. You know, like a fall, like background leaves and, yeah. you know, all that. And so. really, I feel like if you have like the looks, the full looks done, it really doesn't yes. matter where you're taking no, the picture. No, even I said like in our backyard, like the trees are starting to turn. I'm like, gosh, we could even just stand here and like get a few. Or, you know yeah, what I mean? Like I feel like golf as soon as, yeah. yeah, I feel like as soon as the leaves start to change, you could really go anywhere. So totally. Yeah. Um, Okay, so, oh, this is a cute question. Anything, we were just talking about this, big plan for Christmas, and where does she get her inspiration for you? 
Oh gosh. Those are two separate questions. Why don't we do the, well, okay. So what was the Christmas The one? first one is anything big planned for Christmas. We were just talking about this. Oh, you were talking about that. So my, um, my sister and her husband and her two kids live in Pittsburgh and yeah, we were just talking about this cause we were talking about what we're doing for Christmas. And two years ago when COVID was like at its height, mm-hmm. we were all planned to go home to Buffalo for mm-hmm. Christmas. Um, and my sister we were leaving like the next day and my sister got to Erie and my mom called and she's like your father just tested positive for COVID no I remember we're all like devastated so looking back we also just went home and like made him stay in the basement but whatever it (laughs) happened right and so I'm like we'll just come here yeah like come to our house we'll just stay here and you can come here and you know whatever that's all good and great and it worked out well because her um her husband and her in-laws are all from Pittsburgh so they all celebrate Christmas Day okay so she wasn't like missing out even like the year she goes to Buffalo it works out so nice because they can wake up open presents with us and then head back to his family so they came to our house and I'm like (laughs) we were like laughing because Christmas morning they're like what are all these gifts Laura I'm like (laughs) just open them like I I had to like I just wrapped up like random things for them (laughs) just to have yeah yeah, I had like all these extra candles and like someone gave me socks I'm like I gave them to her right you know I'm like you guys have to have gifts yeah yeah so then we had so much fun and it worked out so well so that last year they did it again and then we all went home to Buffalo for New Year's and just kind of like um, our my parents have seven grandkids now. So like, you know, with seven kids. Well, that sounds so lovely. And yeah, you so called it, what was it, Christmas in Cleveland? Yeah, we call it Christmas in Cleveland. Yeah. We love a good branding moment. <laughs> Absolutely. You should get like cups made know, or something for it. I know, it. right? Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I love, I mean, who isn't? But I'm a huge, huge Christmas fan. Oh my gosh. We, so it's that's so another fun. thing that we all love, you know, mom, me, and yes. you yourself is holidays. Oh my gosh. So just fun. Like, and now with so kids, it. it's just, yeah, it makes yeah. it a lot, a lot of fun. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Um, okay. Well, those were all of the questions um, right. that everyone submitted and a lot of them kind of repeated. So I feel like we we answered what good, good. we touched upon everything um and if you want laura to obviously come back on the podcast to a- answer any specific things now that you have gotten to know her yes. a bit better yeah, you know me. um <laughs> and just like that we continue to work together please let me know and obviously you can come back on the podcast answer any more questions about styling or developing your personal style or just anything related to like fashion and nordstrom and getting into all of you know that in your career so mm-hmm. um thank you so much for joining thank us thank you for having me and making more time out of your very busy schedule no. with the girls and everything the most going relaxing on. part of my day <laughs> well we're happy about it and <laughs> um you. yeah you're coming back tomorrow because it's mm-hmm. our wednesday, our wednesday work day yes Looking which is so exciting so thank you all so much for listening um be sure to follow me on all of my other socials where you can keep up with daily content and we're back to the normal podcasting schedule i know last week we took a week off but we are hitting the ground running with this episode and we are excited to keep chatting um throughout october and as we enter the holiday season so laura so exciting thank you so much and we hope to have you back on soon and remember that everything is in fact better with a bow bye-bye now (laughs) 